Heard up. We are almost underway. Beginning operation. Let me have some fun. Round one. Fight. All right, first round. What's going to happen? Starts with a jump in. It's the start of the round. How will they start their approach? Player two with the life lead. Can they exploit this advantage? Player two chases them down. KO. Player two sets the tone with that win. Let's see if they can keep it up. Looks like they want to establish a rhythm with their ground game and fireballs. Pressuring the situation with the charge in. Player one got smothered that round. They'll need to shake it off and show some more adaptation. Springs forward with the drive rush. Going in? Player two will look to apply pressure. At least one of them is having a good time in that corner. Their will to win is really being tested here. Goes to the fire. The projectile connects, not giving the opponent any chances. That was a clinic on how a solid neutral game wins matches. We are here in the first round. Which one of them will let their fists do the talking? Goes with the projectile to pressure the opponent. Throwing on even more pressure with the fireball. Play this is a huge chance to make a feel. Takes a trip. Player two is going to have a hard time managing their drive now. How much damage can they deal before the opponent's drive gauge replenishes? Plenty of space between the fighters. What will be their approach? Knockdown. Both of them have entered burnout state, which will drastically change their approach to the fight. Drive gauge finally recovers. The fight continues in the middle of the stage. In a dire situation, they can't afford any mistakes. Player one is almost in there. Player two takes the round like a thief in the night. What else can they get away with? Goes to the overdrive. Got their eye on the air. Smokes with a medium kick. Springs forward with the drive rush. Closes the distance. Player two will look to apply pressure here. Medium kick hits. Overdrive cannon spike. Both fighters planning something? This is a turning point. They that was a well-placed projectile. Player two brings it home. Let's see if they can build themselves a streak.
Looking to switch it up? This is a good chance for a breather. I'm like a diamond, I shine under pressure. But life's been trying me, I learned all my lessons. I realize I gotta kill all my blessings. I'm working hard every day to be a better man. If practice makes perfect, then I'm already a veteran. I suffer from defeat, so success is my medicine. That's it for greatness, so you know that I'm back again. I'm back on my feet after I fell down. Always ready for a fight, never back down. At this point, I'm fighting for pride, I'm fighting for life. Reputation on the line. I'm fighting for mine You ain't gotta really like me But you must respect me I'm saying I'm saying If they ever try to check Billy. me Don't let them break me huh. hey. Smart choice Open those shutters We're ready to fight They're all fired up We're almost underway don't expect me to be a pushover. Round one. Fight. Let's see what they try to do here in the first round. Both fighters have plenty of health. Where is this match gonna go? 
how are they going to deal damage? What's the play here? Player one will be in a world of hurt if their drive gauge runs out. Looks like we need a quick timeout. Back to the stage select screen. Now that we know our stage, it's time to select the character. Smart, open those shutters. We're ready to fight. When it's all said and done, they go call me a legend. I love to break bread, but I'd rather break records. They're all fired up. We're almost underway. I'm ready. Don't expect me to be a pushover. Round one. Fight. Let's see what they try to do here in the first round. Pops for the throw. Was well in range to score the throw. Nails the anti-air. The quarter makes it hard to escape. What'll be the setup here? Definitely answers air attack. Just capitalizes on every mistake and picks up the perfect KO. Player two sets the tone with that win. Let's see if they can keep it up. They piled up the knowledge. Now, how are they going to use it? Throws them to negate the block. Good work staying in throw range there. Player two needs to use the threat of the corner here. Was hungry for the grab. Both fighters planning something? Risky up close scraps still going. How's this? Smart play with the throw. What'll happen here? Hits up the in there. Player two took no time to finish that fight. Will we see our fighters fill each other out or just let it fly in this opening round? Blocks the jump in. Okay, takes them all the way to the corner. Definitely shuts out the jumper. All right, they throw them into the corner. They're looking to keep the pressure on and do some damage. Player two is maintaining the corner position. K.O. Player two picks up the first round. That'll give them a psychological advantage. The attack is K. Not a perfect parry, but I'll take it. Player two can build off this lead. Breaks their guard with the throw. Here comes the mix-up. Going wild with the throws in the corner. Shows a medium kick. Goes for the jump in. Both fighters planning something? Watch out! Typhoon coming through! Looks like they want to put a new spin on things with that fireball. Player two is in a very good player! Oh, here we go! Oh, absolutely flatlines them! Player 2 brings it home! Let's see if they can build themselves a streak!
Yeah, hey there, I do it. Never fear loose. And when I get up. Yeah, hey there, I do it. Never fear loose. And when I get up in the game, you're up here and prove Real problem, but I solve them all facts proof. And if you think I'm gon' fold, then you talk your fool. Yeah, y'all wanna win, let me spin, boy. I'm done to side, I'm super fly, like I'm hanging off the real boy. <laughs>
Yeah, hey there, I do it. Never feel loose. And when I get up in the game, you're up here and prove a real problem. But I solve them on Facebook. And if you think I'm gonna fold, then you told me fool. Yeah, y'all wanna win? Let me spin, boy. I dunk aside, I'm super fly, like I'm hanging off the rim. Time, 
Oh, I already signed in. Did you sign in? Oh, you signed in? Yeah. I don't know if you have to sign in or not. But you must respect me
Y on Marissa and Jury comes out. Zeke pushing through. Oh, here they go into the corner. Not able to find anything. Marissa pushing back. The perfect carry there. The throw into Drive Rush. You really got to utilize that meter. Yeah, they got to be careful with that meter. Oh, but they're, they're going to the neutral. Drive impact goes for the hit. Oh, and the anti air gets him out of there. Oh, Keep up that pressure. They typically dash in. Yep. There we go, into the splat, going in for the combo. Here comes the pressure, and okay, ABY can't loops. get out of there. Oh, no, well yeah, done. Yeah, drive that picks up. No, excuse me, drive impact in the corners. Again, it's a very scary, very prominent thing. It's it's very hard not to see a drive impact in the corner, and it obviously can go either way for either player too, especially as a retaliation tool. It can really mess up the opposing player. Absolutely, here we go again, Zeke. On the offensive. Oh, there you go. See, that's God. exactly what I was talking about. Oh, or my the other way around, but, you know. God. Insane. Here goes for the splat. Z to level three. Going for the perfect. That might kill. That, no. Yep, definitely. You think so? Yep. Oh, oh or not. Sliver <laughs> Dead <of> wrong. <laughs> Marissa, hold on. Mm. ABY trying to save the there round. There you go. <laughs> oh, but the grab is just going to be way too much for ABY. Oh, and quickly into the round, too. You gotta love that immediate rematch. Yeah, they're going in for it, man. Oh, here they go, fantastic. Managing to use that super armor. Yeah, Marissa kind of gets off a lot of lucky, uh, a lot of lucky pokes through uh, her Gladius pokes. Uh, a lot of them are really safe through spacing and stuff like that. So I think she can really get away with uh, just kind of swinging around, uh, especially with Gladius Enders. I think a lot of her special moves, really, uh, they're kind of multi-purpose. <laughs> Here Zeke goes. just really letting up that pressure. Yeah, Zeke pushing her way in. Oh! Utilizing that super armor well. Drive impact. Or excuse me, drive rush. Oh, and here Bada he boom. comes. Bada ABY boom. looking to hold on. Is in burnout. There you go. Both players in burnout. Oh, here he goes. Feng Shui engine. Is that going to be what gets him to the end? The Antigon agent. Just pushing him in towards the corner. Both looking Locking for him down and throw. Oh, Not here quite. he comes. Just oh. do it again. Just do it again. We, we just run that twice. We just keep this going. <laughs> yeah, neutral interactions, again, are also really explosive with the use of uh, drive rush cancels. You could just literally, uh, I was talking about it on Discord, where uh, like crouching medium kick is basically turned into like the universal ah god of GGs, where you just kind of land it once, and then boom, you're in, and you just kind of skip neutral and just get it 
possibly a lot of damage off of it, depending on the character you're playing. And then the command grab. Ooh, command grab coming in. And ABY looking to try Stuffing to stay out. in this. Winner's quarterfinals. But Zeke is just continuously pushing him back on that jury. In danger. Oh! Another good perfect parry into throw. Nice drive rush, locking him down on the corner once again. Feng Shui Engine comes on up. Oh, and the all Marvel versus Capcom up in here. Not quite there, oh. but the intention was there. Zeke coming out with the W. Fantastic work. Honestly, it was that pressure against the Marissa. Marissa's fantastic pressure-wise, mm -hmm. and I think she has so much in terms of her super armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to utilize that properly. You got to... I'm not sure what to call it. Uh, kind of... Not option select, but kind of... Playing it either way in terms of going all in or just kind of holding a button and expecting your uh, opponent to just kind of like... Uh, I don't know, press a button so you can eat the super armor. It goes either way, yeah. I mean, I think the other problem comes into the fact that Jury is just so multifaceted. She can come from anywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's really where Marissa kind of comes with that problem, right? She kind of has that issue where it's like, okay, I have to anticipate. I have to figure out where I'm going to end up, what I'm going to end up doing, and I have to force Jury into an uncomfortable position. Yeah, absolutely, especially considering she's got to work for it. The uh, installs, uh, I'm unfortunately not very familiar with uh, Jury and how her systems work. She's got to uh, like build up to the special moves, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she does. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what is it? Yeah, she has to build the, uh, it's like the upkicks. I always forget, I always forget what, the, what the input is for that. But honestly, fantastic work there from Zeke, just being able to just push in, drive in, and really just take the W. Uh, so let's see. Here we I go. Argon versus Scambolini here. Ooh. Both of them play. Wait, no, no, no. Never mind. I'm thinking of another player I just lost against. Uh, <laughs> Argon playing JP. Uh, Scambolini playing Cami, I believe. Yeah. So this is uh, an interesting one. I saw uh, Argon play last night at Retro Revival Weekly. And uh, he's been going off about JP's strengths and weaknesses, especially in certain matchups like um, oppressive ones like this, where um, both characters. JP against Rushdown, they each have uh, very, very large strengths in the certain fields. So Cammy, obviously, is a Rushdown character. She has to work to get in, uh, and JP's obviously are trying to keep you out. Both of them have different opposing strengths, and it can either go like lopsided in either direction, especially in JP. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of words about um, JP's uh, defense not being quite up to snuff in regards to, uh, in comparison to his keep out game. Yeah, no, I think, like, once you kind of get in the JP's bubble, you force him to get really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I mean, he does have a counter. Absolutely, yeah. But either way, you're still forcing JP into a very uncomfortable mm -hmm. position. Now, if you can manage to create that space, fantastic. JP wins fantastically. But it still is, it still is no, there's still no defense coming from the side of JP. Going into the match. Oh, man. I am ready for this one. Game face? No happy, happy face. <laughs> Confusion. <laughs> All right, here we go. Scambolini versus Argen. Winners quarterfinals. Let's see what He's going to back up, isn't he? No? Ooh. I figured he'd do a special. Yeah, Argen's coming in straight hot, but Scambolini. There you are, keeping up the pressure there. Just as we were talking about before the match started. Oh, here he comes. Get up. Oh, and the mix up. Ooh, mistimed it. Whoa. Oh no. Oh no, and we have a pause. It happens, I guess. Hey man. It just comes with the it just comes with the uh Hey man, it comes it comes with the territory. Sometimes it comes with it tournament happens. organizing. I I'm truly very sorry for all the tournament organizers that have to deal with this kind of stuff, especially with uh, this week being as well large as it is. Not to mention the monthly coming up this week. Mm -hmm. uh, this weekend, excuse me. Oh, alrighty. So, I mean, like, let's just go ahead and talk about what ended up happening, just at least mm -hmm. in this much. All right, and we saw very quickly Scambolini running in through the JP. Now, it looks like they're going to go towards, they're going to, you know, start over the match, I believe. Yeah, get they're going to be situated. Yeah. So they're going to go ahead and get themselves situated, try it all over again. But there it was, exactly what we were talking mm -hmm. about. JP just cannot find his way out. Yeah, the mistimed, uh, what do you call it, amnesia counter right before the match got interrupted as well. So again, I saw a lot of that. Um, I was uh, observing uh, Scambolini and um, Lavender. Mm -hmm. uh, so Lavender was having a really hard time. He was really, really uh, putting it all in on the amnesia counter, uh, mistiming it every single time. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing about uh, characters like JP with um, strong uh, keep out 
weak defense. Uh, you really got to, if you really, really, really want to keep them out, you really got to spend that, you got to spend that meter, take that risk. Uh, yeah, especially with Cami, how a lot of her pressure, she can just get away with everything scot-free. Mm -hmm. As long as, she, granted, if she doesn't mash and your opponent doesn't mash while she's mashing, so Cami, uh, from my experience at least, uh, can get a lot away with a lot of um, just a lot of nasty stuff. Just kind of like pressing a lot of buttons, just like staying in your face, especially with her mix-ups and stuff like that. Off of the hooligan combination, the flip. Mm -hmm. The hooligan yeah. combination. Yeah. I mean, the hooligan combination. Uh, I don't remember. Was in five? You could just come straight down. I didn't main her there. I mean, during five. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not very uh, experienced in Street Fighter Five, so I can't really say. All right, but here we go. They're gonna go in for the rematch, or er, they're gonna restart. Actually. So. <sighs> Let's get, let's get it going. Let's it see. It should be a very interesting matchup. I'm really willing to see how this goes this time. Yeah, I mean, Scamolini had an incredible pressure at the beginning. Absolutely, but. yeah. All right, here we go. Once again, Scamolini looking for an entry. Yeah, Arden trying to stuff out with normals in the mid range. Here we go again. Same situation. Side flip. Let that go. Goes Once forward again. again, and Arkin just can't seem to find an angle. I think another defensive option that JP uh, particularly has is Drive Impact over other characters. Obviously, Drive Impact being a very controversial topic within the community right now with his big uses. Uh, fishing out for it is a very prevalent thing, especially, obviously, in the corner, as we've mentioned. So uh, with JP in particular, I think in the mid-range, he could really stuff out uh, whatever the opponents try to throw at him before they get in uh, up, his, uh, up his neck, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, battle still continuing. Argon just can't seem to find the angle against Scambolini. Yeah, I could just kind of feel the pressure. I'm just kind of putting myself in JP's shoes. Like, I, I could kind of feel the anxiety, like, even from mid range. Keep him on lockdown. Observe. Oh, but there yeah, it the is. Ups. Finding his way in. Scambolini having a tough time trying to find that angle. Ooh. Not quite the right distance, though. Nope, there we go. Argon. He's got the light lead, though, so he could take this back unless. I don't want to compensate the curse. Oh, there you oh, go. There it is. Bada boom. Oh, oh, almost. Still alive. Still there in you this. go. Oof, one HP in a dream. Range. One HP in a dream. Not much you can do for that. And the magic pixel. <laughs> magic pixel. Let's start thinking of the phone. All right, Scambolini looking for another angle. Argon on the defensive. I'm getting pushed more into this corner, and here we go. That offensive. Nice grab. Pressure. Yeah. Keep him locked down. But just playing really close. Mm. There we go, looking for a jab combo, trying to get, oh man. And here goes command grab. That yeah, clone into command grab is another strong option. Scambolini, oh. Into and super. Level three, Argon takes the first round. Yeah, it's kind of like a tug of war. Uh, Very can go yeah, like either side uh, at any moment. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and the insta start. You'll Somebody's ready it. to go, dude. You don't want to mash too much with JP here. No, you got to be careful, especially in this area. Ooh, the command grab, and Argon is just able to find these little... Observe. He's able to find the mix-up. Mm, keep oh, him out. Scambolini just can't seem to find some sort of angle. And here he comes, Scambolini looking for some sort of entryway, but he's already in yellow. He's already... Oh, boy. And it's about that patience, yeah. Oof. And Argon takes the first match or first round. Yeah, it's very easy, uh, at least from my experience, to uh, crack under pressure uh, from full screen against JP. Like, especially as a loop player, I just want to get in there and just kind of start beating you up. So like, I get really antsy whenever I'm in that position with the observe into Pierce. And here he goes, Argon again, level two. Mm. Oh. That needs to be up close there. My goodness, I've never seen that before. Oh, man. And Scambolini just cannot find out. a way in. Zone him out real hard. One more sliver of health. Oof. Got to be careful with the chip as well. Oh, Ooh, here. nice one. Yeah, managed to get through it. Oh. Will they be able to make it? Can't. They can't drive impact. Yikes. <laughs> and here we go. Drive rush into well the Well played by kick. both players, yeah. Well done, well done. Argon advances. Mm -hmm. Wow, dude. Yeah, J those disadvantages with JP were really scary there, but he managed to pull through in the end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I mean, like, and that's the problem is, like, a Kami, you're really trying to find that angle, but when you have JP coming up with so many different projectiles coming at you at once, mm -hmm. it really is important for you not to panic. 
a lot of different options too, like a grounded projectile, uh, like a mid-screen uh, projectile with different extensions, not extensions, but different options. The command grab as well. Again, the uh, clone, whatever it's called, into command grab, always gets me every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially at the different distances too, because I noticed that um, while keeping your uh, opponent locked down as JP with the uh, observe, uh, I feel like it'd be best to alternate between uh, full screen and mid screen just in case your opponent wants to advance. And just when they think they do, they get hit by the mid screen uh, observe as well as uh, the different, what do you call it, options at different distances. <laughs> All right, well, here we go on to the next round. Once again, I have not been keeping track of the bracket. <laughs> I think we're going into. Uh, looks like we're going into winners. Winners final? No. No, we're still in Lumi semifinals. I'm yes. looking at pool one right here. Yeah, we're going to semis right now. We're still in semis. Well, it's been a fantastic night of Street Fighter. Honestly, I've learned so much really just kind of coming in here and just kind of seeing different players. Mm -hmm. I mean, like online, it's a completely different environment. Absolutely. You yeah. know, and I'm like, when I play, I don't particularly see like, like Blancas. You know, I see some geefs, not really a lot of them though. Yeah, that's the dichotomy uh, with like online and offline. Like the ecosystems are entirely different. What players are looking for uh, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I had something in the mind I wanted to say. Yeah, uh, again, uh, considering the game is not even a week old at this point, a lot of new faces, a lot of veteran players who haven't played Street Fighter before, maybe they have <clears throat> coming from other fighting games, people possibly brand new to fighting games. There's a lot of new people I recognize from here. Again, it's really interesting to see like all the character choices that a lot of these people um, have and what they do with them, just coming and swinging. Mm -hmm. All righty, here we go. I just want to know who they're going to pick. You got to pick the pretty stage first. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I still don't have like a favorite. But I think the um, the Chinatown one, I think it's my, uh, by far my favorite. A lot of the stages in this game, fortunately, look very, very pretty. I'd say, like, off the top of my head, like, probably the... I like the alleyway, actually. Oh, we're going to be seeing that a lot since that's the default stage pick. Uh, the beach as well. A lot of them have a lot of, like, contrast and values and stuff like that. So you really have a good visual of what you're seeing. No, like, Marvel 3 instances of having to pick one or two stages because I, uh, you can't see anything. But <laughs> anyways, uh, what are the players here again? Uh, we'll, we'll find out here in a moment. I believe we're in, are we? No, yeah, I think we are in semis. Alrighty. Okay. Honda and Marissa. Honda is, from what I understand, uh, kind of nasty right now. All Sir right. Honor and Lewis the Panda. All right, here they go, Sir Honor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think that's a very easy to do to try and uh, bust out that armor on both Drive Impact and Marissa's armor like that, trying to mash your way out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but for the most part, you kind of want to keep your ground, kind of respect it. All right, Sir Honor just putting in all that pressure. Lewis the Panda can't find a way out, goes for the grab. Oh, manages to get the head button. Oh man, but Lewis the Panda just can't find it. And the just a jump in. It's too much pressure here for Lewis the Panda. I'd say it's all in the headbutt. Then again, I don't really know much about Honda, but uh, the headbutt's all where it's at from what I understand. Oh, and here Bam. we go. Command grab. Sir Honor is just in there like swimwear. Goes for the low. Just jumping on in. Not afraid to really just drive this. Ooh. There you go. There we go. Knocks him back. Here we go. Both players back in neutral. Oh, here we go, Lewis uh -oh. the Pen. Oh. See what I was talking about? Trying to get a little bit of trigger happy there. Uh huh. Oh, mm, happening again. Sir Honor, just really, really using that super armor. Uh, Those just knowledge checks, yeah. Especially considering how young the game is right now, everyone's just kind of winging it. Obviously, it varies, but you know, for the most part, that's what we're seeing. There you go. There you go, and here he goes for the buff. Oh, the, the trade ends up coming on in, but Sir Honor's just jumping on in, unafraid of what's what's going yeah, on. Baby. Sir Honor. Maintaining your ground with the headbutt knockdowns. Oh, Drive Impact comes in, manages to block it just in time. Lewis the Panda working their way through. Oh, and Sir Honor in dangerous times right now. Oh, that's a headbutt. That yep. was a nice one. Yeah, I'm trying to put myself in uh, the player's shoes right now, specifically Lewis right now uh, with Honda. Trying to see, uh, again, from what I understand, uh, again, with uh, Honda's uh, headbutts being relatively safe, being nasty frame data-wise. 
All right, Sir Honor getting pushed back. Lewis the Panda finding some breath here mm -hmm. on the second round. Yeah, all it takes is a little getting situated, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, drive impact comes on in. Lewis Panda manages to block it. There you go. Manages it's to all bring on him the back. Headbutt. Oh, and here we go. Dangerous situation here for Sir Honor. Trying to find some angle. Goes for the overhead. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Perry, unfortunately, is I don't think would quite be good enough. But then again, I, I'm just kind of going off of what I know. Uh, yeah, even the if you try to parry that kind of stuff, uh, the spacing is what makes it really difficult, especially with uh, Marissa's Gladius, like I was talking about earlier. Ooh, drive impact once again. Lewis the Panda, really good on those aerials. And now Sir Honor trying to find some sort of poke, but not really successful with it. Oh right. man, you love to see it, the drive impact side switch. Ooh, Lewis the Panda. Uh -oh. There you go. Found something. There you go, the <laughs> anti uh, sumo, whatever it's called. The, like, sumo drop? Let's call it a sumo drop. I like sumo drop. Sumo drop, yeah. It's all in the nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go, Sir Honor getting pressured. Managed to parry it, didn't follow it up though. There you go, you gotta use the slaps in order to break through the armor. All right, Lewis the Panda. Coming in strong, Perry comes in. Sir Honor manages to land that hit. And now they're just pushing forward. Ooh, the headbutt comes in clutch. Yeah, especially the one head of armor on the EX. Oh. There you go, it's level three. Into the level three. Will this kill? That's I don't think so. No. The scaling. The scaling. Yep, there you go. And it wasn't critical art. Oh, here it goes again. Yeah, Critical Art can really come in clutch, although we aren't there yet in order to say. All right, here we go. Sir Honor trying to play with some sort of patience. Oh, oh, oh but yeah, Lewis. players being really antsy on block strings right here. Oh, <laughs> but Lewis the Panda taking home the W. Fantastic. After the uh, initial rough game, but again, it's getting your feet wet. It's getting your uh, getting the jitters out, you know what I mean? Just yeah, kinda yeah, getting yourself situated. Shaking it off for a little bit, just kind of woo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fantastic round. But no, and I love I love the Honda play. Honestly, just really able to get into those really rough angles. The Marissa not able to kind of really use the super armor to their advantage. But then again, um, Honda does have super armor when he does the headbutt. And Absolutely. that's seeing that interaction is extremely important because then you wonder, okay, who wins this? Mm -hmm. Who you know who takes that home? So, Marissa, I believe, has two hits of super armor on her charge uh, specials, mm -hmm. uh, and Honda, I believe, has one. So it depends on the. It's really situational, uh, especially in neutral, where Honda, even on whiff, I noticed that uh, like headbutt can just kind of get you in a different position, especially if you're like in an unfavorable one. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've moved on. From winner semi to winner's final, I believe that's where we're at. Yes, we are, and it's going to be Zeke versus Lewis the Panda. I'm seeing uh, more quarters in pool two right now. Just give me a second. Are we doing winner's finals? I could be just talking out of my butt right now. And once again, this is Juicy Game Night at Versus Gaming in the Avito Mall. For those of you watching at home, please come on by, hang out. Have a good time, play some Street Fighter, play some card games. Mm -hmm. It's always a good time. A lot of the fighting game venues I uh, have been in as of recently, uh, all of them are card games. So, <laughs> like, it's that Venn diagram of, uh, you know, tabletop gamers and uh, fighting games. So, if you're in either one of those niches, you're in luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing one more uh, winner semi match from Dyson Sir Loyal right here, so I'm not sure if that's what we're going at I'm seeing, next. I'm seeing the Twitch. Let me check it out. This is what I'm, I guess I'm seeing only my pool. Yeah, this is pool two right here. Uh, oops. Right here, Dyson Sir Loyal. Oh, okay. semis. So we're almost at winner's finals. Almost at winner's. Okay, yeah. And even then, we got losers after that, so... Looks like we got a stall, huh? Yeah, it looks like we got to just hang out here. So, what, what what do you mean? I play Luke. You play Luke? Yes. Fantastic. He's a what, he's like a he's like a Shoto hybrid now, right? Yeah, basically. Uh, basically, my character archetype. There's kind of a joke within me in the community right now that I'm a <coughs> excuse me, pro tag player. Uh, a <laughs> lot of the I don't know. I just kind of the way I play fighting games is that I don't really like sweat any of the big stuff. I just kind of I just kind of feel it out. Mm -hmm. I just kind of like do whatever suits best for me. 
And that character archetype, the one I happen to like the most, is kind of like well-rounded, uh, kind of not Shoto. I don't deliberately go out of my way, but um, yeah, a lot of like that well-rounded kind of stuff. Uh, and my character goal, I don't typically go for someone well-rounded. I go for someone simple. Gotcha. So, especially with uh, my play style, I play very, I push forward a lot. And again, Luke, uh, along with like Hyde in comparison, uh, from like Undernight Inbirth. Uh, they're both very um, very well-rounded and also very pressure-oriented. So I can kind of take a step back and just kind of challenge them with fireballs if I wanted to. But once I get in, that's when my game really starts. That's when my, uh, <laughs> excuse me, monkey brain starts to go <laughs> off. And monkey. I'm just like, oh, yeah, here we go, baby. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Hey, uh, I, I think it's always important for people, especially when they're trying to get into fighting games, just to really figure out what they want and like what they really want out of the game, what archetype they love to play with. Like for me in particular, I like to play with Shotos. That's my, like that's my thing. But like this is the first foray I've had with like Kami, so like with a rushdown. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm relatively excited to just use her, kind of play with that pressure. I've never really done that before. Mm -hmm. And it's honestly, to me, it's a whole lot of fun. Yeah, this game has given me the opportunity to really like toy with a lot of characters I never really uh, expected I'd like to begin with. Uh, obviously the roster is very small, relatively small, but like very selective, uh, very varied. Mm -hmm. uh, all the character archetypes, obviously you got the World Warriors along with like the new guys. All of them are extremely varied and you're most likely to find someone that you are, you know, willing to stick with. Uh, like, for example, during the open beta, uh, I have a friend in the Tekken community who is learning Street Fighter, and one of the characters he's learning with is Guile. Mm -hmm. So I just picked up Guile. I was like, you know what? I'm going to see what this feels like for myself. And lo and behold, I was having a blast. He's a zoner. I never thought I'd like zoners. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. my goodness. He feels incredible, especially with a simple game plan and all that. I don't know. Street Fighter Six. Uh, I don't know. I feel like uh, its roster, its mechanics, I think it all kind of like – meshes well together uh, in terms of uh, really providing a good player experience, especially with expression and all that. Pick, uh, players just kind of picking the characters they like and playing them in the way that they want to, so no two players are the same. All right, and here we go. Next set on winners. Ah, semifinals? Quarter. We're in semis. Dice and Sir Loyal. All right. Dice, I believe... I unfortunately am not terribly knowledgeable, but his Twitter tag, <laughs> going off of what I know. What's that? Oh, I thought I heard something. Anyways. Uh. Anyways, uh, his Twitter tag is Dice Third Strike. So uh, that I didn't know before. I met him through uh, Guilty Gear Strive. Okay. So he's very experienced in this. I was playing uh, casuals with him, unfortunately not for a very long set, uh, before coming here. Uh, yeah, his pressure is really deadly. He has a lot of uh, perfect parries on lockdown. So he's really getting uh, knowledgeable on those matchups. Let's yeah. check right now. Yeah, I think they're just yeah making sure everything's good. Absolutely. And we definitely don't want another. <laughs> we don't want another pause. Mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't know Dice played Jamie because right now uh, I was looking at his ranks. Uh, he plays Lily, to mm -hmm. my knowledge, and he plays Kimberly. He was a character who was playing uh, me uh, before I went here. All right, it looks like they got themselves set up, warmed up, ready to go. Are we? Are they going to be sticking to the Ryu Jamie though? Oh uh, no, that'd be very uncharacteristic of Dice again. Like I don't again, I don't know very well, but like I'm like I don't know, I don't know. Jamie. Ooh, uh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get into that phase where I kind of like know fighting game players in my local scene well enough in order to like know what kind of characters they play and what play styles they like. So I'd give myself a pat on the back for that. <laughs> what do you think about Lily's play style? I think it's very simplistic, very wonderful though. Uh, I admittedly know very little about Lily. Uh, mm -hmm. Next to, like, Blanca, I'd say I've been seeing the least of her online. I met, excuse me, uh, exactly one of them or two of them on ranked uh, of, like, the, let's say, like, 200 matches I played. So I do know about her wind. I do know about her combo, or, excuse me, Condor Spire, uh, how that's, like, plus as heck. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it should be really scary. We got, like, three grapplers in the game, right? She's a grappler. Yes, she, well, she's like a pseudo grappler. I think yeah, yeah, one yeah. Chain, one, one command grappler. A which pixie is a, grappler? Is that what they call it? Is that what they call it? I learned that through KOF with Shermie. Like, pixie grapplers are typically ones that are very mobile. All right, here we go. Sir Loyal versus Dice. And they're going for the pokes, looking to get something in. Manon. Oh, man. And again, both. both of these characters, again, I don't know much about Lily, but I'm just going to call her a grappler for the time being. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of butting heads here. Oh, and Sir Loyal coming in with that first combo, pushing them back. 
There you go. Oh, drive rush, command grab, and now Dice in a bad spot. Mm. It's got to be careful. There you go. Burnout from Sir Loyal just pushing their way on through. Dice uh -oh. has got to have some sort of answer. All right, getting some ground here. Panic super. Okay. Mess him up. Oh, and that's going to be a rough one. This is going to hurt. Dice making their way in. And now Sir Loyal onto the defensive. There goes the splat. Yeah, Lily using her long range normals here, especially with the spacing I'm seeing on her specials. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I think that's a good, big uh, visual indicator of her uh, where she wants to be. But look at that movement. Oh, she's so fantastic. Oh, and the drive impact connects. Are they going to be able to continue? The awkward no. conversion off of the jump in, though. Yeah, just they're in the air for too long. Ooh. A lot of characters have varying answers to that. And now Sir Loyal put in the pressure against Dice, manages to land the command grab. Plenty of damage here. Dice in a critical state, does have critical art, mm. tries to push their way out. Oh, and manages to get it back into the neutral. Okay. Yeah, she can hold the button. I was uh, looking at her a little bit. She can kind of delay it if she wanted to. Drive impact coming in from Dice. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, and the command grab, but Dice is now in burnout. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Stuffing them out from afar. Good finish from Dice. Great work. All right, here we go. Into round two. Sir Loyal needs to find the way into Dice's bubble. Right now, Dice is just incredible with this offense. Again, we've been seeing a lot of, like, tug of war, like, not lopsided, but just kind of, like, oh, yeah. on again, off again kind of matches. You love to see it. Doesn't do much with that combo, though. Good air-to-air -air trade to keep him locked down in the corner, though. Mm -hmm. And now Dice on game point right now. You're right. I mean, Dice has just been incredible with this offense. Keeping Sir Loyal on their oh, toes. Oh, yeah, stuffing him out. Oh, <laughs> drive impact. And here comes some big hurt. Ooh. That's what, 40%? That's incredible. That looks like 30 to 35 to me, but it's no big deal. Big damage either way. <laughs> there you go. Two charges. Dice. Bounce back on the Condor Spire to keep her safe. And now Sir Loyal trying to find a way in, but Dice is about to come out of burnout. And Sir Loyal has got to find some sort of answer. Manon has a lot of uh, mid-range approach tools as well. And there's the game. Uh, <laughs> that's, what I said? I told, that command grab is disgusting. Mm -hmm. It Especially when you OD it, mm -hmm. it's disgusting. It takes away so much damage. That being said, though, Manon does have an incredible set of command grabs. Mm -hmm. And her command grabs are, I like to say they're unfair. <laughs> I can't really say much about that, but especially considering the fact that it snowballs, uh, I don't know, it just kind of rewards Manon for playing so consistently, mm -hmm. especially with the distance that it uh, presents. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to call it the jump scare, uh, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is hilarious and very aptly fit. Uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, yeah, the, the drive rush, uh, we saw a couple of drive rush command grabs from uh, Manon and uh, the distance that she uh, presents with her command grab. Mm -hmm. It's a very, again, uh, that kind of like sp uh, safe mid-range presence not necessarily being too up in your face, but although she does have like the vortex normals that she has as well. So. Right, really pulls them in. I I've seen that and that really frustrates me, mm -hmm. but I think that's just great for the form of pressure that she can offer. Yeah. I think the problem though, is that Lily can play in safe spaces, so she can play at a distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been seeing a lot of that with uh, the pushback on her uh, normals, especially with the uh, the upgraded, um, the Condor Spires. Oh, we're doing raffle? Oh, what already? Come on, y'all. Raffle. Yo, I do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds think alike. Oh, yeah, baby. I want it. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was off by two.
Eight six zero. Yeah. Eight six zero. Yeah, no, eight four zero. Wait. <laughs> All right, congratulations. <laughs> well done. Show it off. Shouldn't have said that as a mic. <laughs> Let's see. Prefer to play to the camera, but. Come on. Screech <laughs> over a headset, man. <laughs> Yippee! And Cancel look at it. Uh, did she get it? I think so. Yeah, she did. She got the W. <laughs> All, right. All right. Always a fun time here at Juicy Game Night. Come on down. Enjoy yourself a good raffle. Enjoy yourself some Street Fighter. Absolutely. Enjoy yourself a lot of things. Uh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Ready to continue on Juicy Game Night. Where are we at right now? I, think I believe this is winner's finals. Yeah, Zeke and... Uh, Louis the Panda. Louis the Panda, yep. All right. And here we go. Winner's final. Let's see who take this one home. Oh yeah, baby. And we're gonna be seeing the Jury versus the Honda matchup. Okay. So definitely a lot of pressure here from the Jury, but honestly, Honda has a lot of good defensive plays. So Does let's let's see how Lewis the Panda takes this. There you go, headbutt. I was literally <laughs> just about to say, I'm like, uh, maybe headbutt. <laughs> maybe oh. that's the Honda uh, hive mind, even though I'm not really a Honda player myself, obviously. Oh, drive impact, but Zeke manages to catch it and goes in for the combo. Drive yeah, impact. drive impact. Manages to land the splat. And here we go, Zeke on the offensive. Lewis the Panda can't find a way out. Ooh, goes for the drop. There you go. Non-existent recovery on that, making it safe. Ooh, burnout from Zeke, but now both characters on burnout. Oh, uh, damn. Fantastic. You know, the, the triple jab into some sort of special, mm -hmm. it's just a bread and butter. It's a universal option. Here he goes. Parry by Z. Drive rush into throw. That's a, one of my favorite personal options. Here just kind of interrupt that flow. It's going to hit you by surprise. Zeke coming in with the offense. Is Zeke's a doing a really good job with um, uh, his drive meter usage, especially uh, being so repressive with drive rush, like canceling those normals, doing really good with hit confirms. Mm -hmm. This is his ne Locked next down. level, really hopping on in. Lewis the Panda's got to find some sort of answer, but Zeke's with that. I told you, that that offensive pressure, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, a lot of explosive, uh, explosive confirms there on Zeke's end. And here they go, round two, Lewis the Panda. A jab anti as if this is KOF. <laughs> Here we go, punish counter. Boom. That's a Keep big him in, sumo throw, baby. That's a big one. Keep him locked down. Oh. Yep, triple jab, as we were talking about. And he goes Throwing into the, down in the corner. Lewis the Panda with the life lead. Yeah, Zeke just really not letting up with that drive usage. I'd love to see it. Again, I personally play very impressively like that, especially with my Luke. So that's kind of good to see. All right, here we go. This could be anyone's game. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh. Stuff it out. And here he comes. Lewis the Panda with that heavy blood. damage. This is unreal. Hmm. Is he trying Good to space jabs there. Ooh. Ooh. Great job there by Zeke. And he goes for the grab. Man, it just put him back into the corner. Yeah, got to sacrifice that positioning for damage. Yeah, but here he goes. The burnout. Down anyways. Oh. And now Lewis the Panda on the offensive knows the burnout is there. And Zeke trying to get as much space as humanly possible, but 
I mean, we'll we'll playing very, very carefully. I notice a lot of people in burnout uh, typically back away a lot, so it's up onto the opposing player. Again, if they're not in burnout themselves, uh, to really let on the pressure and Ooh. Lewis the Panda taking that game. With level one. Mm. Lewis the Panda, this is twice. Twice, he wins the first round. Let's see how he answers on the third round. Mm -hmm. Again, right. I think Lewis is, uh, he typically, what do you call it? I'm mind blanking. Yeah, he typically takes those first games to get himself situated. We've been seeing a lot of that. And Zeke on the offensive, Lewis the Panda. Man, you can push him off, but here they go. Both towards the middle. And Zeke oh, yeah. not willing to sacrifice all of that uh, drive meter. Got to keep the sliver into that just in case your opponent wants to bust out a drive impact. Ooh, Lewis the Panda with a fat combo. Oh, and this isn't looking good for Zeke. Goes into the, the burnout. Wow, this is like a missile. This may be favorable. Oh, yeah. The Zeke goes for the grab. Goes for another grab. Not working. Lewis Panda's got to find some sort of answer, but Zeke still in this fight. Yep. I told you, bread and butter. I feel like both of these players um, have a lot of different uh, varying uh, outcomes in regards to their hit confirms and where they want to be. Super armor coming in with the headbutt. And now Z coming in into the offensive. Lewis the Panda coming in. Good damage. Coach Koi. You got to make that time for buffs like Ryu and Lily, all those characters. Ooh, Lewis the Panda. Mm, not letting up. Again, using good, excuse me, uh, doing good use of that uh, drive rush. Use of those parries, too, trying to get some of that meter back. Ooh, but here he goes. Zeke on the offensive. Lewis the Panda pushing back. Is that oh, yeah. level three? Ooh, and gonna this is going to put Zeke damage. into a bad spot. Mm -hmm. This is a bad spot for sure. Oh, man. Burnout, too? Oh, oh, oh. Yikes. Keep him locked down. Come on. <gasps> what? Oh, my God. What was that? Oh, oh, oh. That made me angry looking at it. <laughs> Does that take? Does that take? No. Oh, my goodness. No, he's still alive. Oh, my gosh. They're going in. The headbutt. Headbutt. Do the headbutt. Come head on. Butt. Zeke trying to They're get some They're both just backing off. What? Oh my gosh, what, he's just holding it oh out? Oh my what? god! That was Zeke. unbelievable! <laughs> that was crazy! Zeke! That was a match of Samurai Showdown right there! My goodness! <laughs> oh, and it's a it's a best of five? Oh my gosh, what? Yeah, this is finals, you're right! You see us? Oh my five? gosh, it's not over? It's not over! We're we just get getting started, baby, fighter. let's go! <laughs> we got us some more Street Fighter! Yeah, baby! Here we go, Lewis the Panda! We got the entire venue spectating as well, it's explosive in here. Oh, winner's pie. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, big sad. Big sad. Oh, it is too. Ah, uh, yikes. It was. Ah, uh, I thought oh. we would have more. <laughs> <laughs> we got bamboozled. Oh, we got man. We got well, it was a good set either way. So, uh, <laughs> man, that was incredible. Wow. Yeah, that last second finish. Oh, yikes. my God. I got to give it up to Zeke, though. Yeah, Page. I was about to. Uh, sorry, not to cut you off. I was about to mention the uh, full uh, drive of. Excuse me. Uh, the full stock of uh, super meter that uh, Zeke had, even though he was in burnout. Uh, I didn't get quite get the time to mention it, but uh, it, it happened uh, right before I know. So, uh, <laughs> wow, that was incredible. That was a great set. Oh my god. Hopefully, we get to see more of that because again, we're just getting started. We still got losers and stuff like that to go through. Of pools, apparently. So I guess. Wait, pools really? Yeah, apparently this is winners uh, winners finals of pools, <laughs> or so I hear. Oh yeah, we we, we can. Blah, 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 I can't talk today. Uh, we got top six after this. It's okay. Words are hard. Mm -hmm. I understand. I got a little bit of ahead of myself in speaking. Damn, I'm just now seeing this. Uh, yes, Justice Spirit, you do hear me on commentary right now. Hi. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm just now seeing your message. There you go. Say it. It's good to see that you're uh, tuning into the stream. There you go. Say hi to the friends. I think my brother's is somewhere in the crowd. Yeah, I've been meaning to get on uh, commentary for a while. I've been considering it because, again, uh, I do a – it's a particularly uh, bad habit of mine of what I like to call – Realistically, it's talking to myself. I like to call it thinking out loud. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just kind of like by myself, like just doing online sets, and I'm just kind of like thinking out loud, like basically speaking as I am now. 
not to this extent, obviously, but just like on certain situations, on certain pokes, mm -hmm. on certain plays in the game, it's just like, oh, I'll keep the spacing. Oh, just a habit. Yeah, so um, I'm glad uh, it wasn't until the monthly that I got the chance to hop on commentary. So this is a good warm up for me. All right, and here we go. It's looking like it's going to be Argon versus. I forget this was like. Dice. <coughs> Dice? That's right. Argon versus Dice. Will Argon bring out the JP again? Mm -hmm. Yes, he will. <laughs> yeah, Argon, uh, he was chilling JP yesterday. Uh, JP is his character. Uh, from what I understand, uh, Argon likes to. No, I'm going to Argon and JP's names confused with one another. <laughs> uh, Argon likes to really have a good control over uh, neutral and kind of space control. And uh, as he was going off yesterday, he really likes to keep you away, mm -hmm. just kind of keeping you over there at the end, especially considering JP is just, you know, an old man. <laughs> so you just visually got this this old guy just, like, keeping you tucked away in the corner. Ooh, in the Suval Hall Arena. I really like that play. That, that is, like, if you ever verse me online, that will be my, my default stage. You can't go wrong with arena stages in fighting games. No, you cannot. Oh, the Lily versus the JP matchup? Mm -hmm. I have never seen this one. Neither have I. So let's see how Dice is going to answer this. Admittedly, again, uh, there's not much of Lily I've seen at all, period. So again, all this is going to be news to me. But again, JP, uh, as I, we mentioned before, uh, is very lopsided in terms of matchup. So it's do or die for both of these players, really. All right, and here we go. And Argon looking for something, not managing to land a dice. Coming in with those nice, juicy pokes. Observe. Oh, three. Uh, uh. Trying to find some sort of angle. Hmm. There you go. OK. Managing to start that combo, pushing him into the okay. corner. Got to stick with the small stuff to keep him away. Mm-hmm. Oh, managing that to find a way. position is not good for Argon here. Not at all. And Dice, just looking for those juicy pokes. Mid-range drive impact, as I was talking about earlier. Yep, there we go. Overhead, <laughs> Pierce. Now, now Dice in a oh, bad sir. spot. Oh, yeah, baby. Both are critical. Hmm. The teleport Ooh. mix up. <laughs> that was juicy. All right, here we go. Next round coming in. Backing off immediately on Argon's side. Dice has got to find some Lockdown. sort of answer. I'm not sure what kind of advantage pairing would give you at full screen in terms of approaching JP. At least it'd keep from eating meter. Mm. I know that much. Really trying to psych out his opponent by using mid-range spikes in front of him as opposed to where their feet are. Kind of interesting. Yeah, Dice is really good on that spacing. And Argon, I, I like that Argon can respect that. Mm -hmm. I always think that that's a, that's a sign of a really good, very well-seasoned JP, knowing where mm. you want your enemy to be. I feel like in a lot of games, Argon really knows uh, his stuff, where he like where to press, uh, you know, what he's doing and all that. There you go, pressure from See, Argon. See, like I was talking about spikes in front. Ooh, and this pressure's oh. gonna be rough. Overhead. There you go. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta Dice. That force. Dice with the Across parry. The corner there. Here we go, four hit. There's, there's. And Argon. Oh, the feints as well. I have not been seeing that much of that uh, from JP players. The triple feint. It was literally today that I figured out that he had that. I have been seeing so little of that. Ooh, went for the drive impact, got the grab. And Argon looking for something cheeky. Oh, yeah. Right now, who's going to take Ooh, it? Stuff oh. him out with the medium kicks. Got him. Nice, meaty, finished it. Crisp. Oh, yeah. Look at this man. He's just got so much risk. Ridiculous. Classy. <laughs> Here we go. Drive impact into the block. And Argon. Oh, 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 punish, punish counter. counter. That's Pierce. rough. Here we go. Observe? No. Uh. Oof. Not really using observe as an additional step on the offense there. Yep. Dice is locking him out. <laughs> Just when you think you're safe. Yep. He went Jumping for the, the command grab. Went for the command grab. Didn't land it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dice really good on finding those out, but he's got to get in there. Mm. Argon just has a lot of leeway right now. Ooh, double overheads. Yeah, got to apply your pressure and stick to it. Oh, nope. the, not quite enough, though. Ooh. However. Next hit will kill. Don't crack, man. You got this. Oh, yeah. There you go, man. Find his corner. way out. Oh, but no combo. Couldn't find it. Using those long-range normals. 
trying kind to of awkward for Lily, especially that's considering where JP wants to be, and then and then some really. Oof. And there we go, Argon managing to land out the W on that one, but let's see, can he close this out? Or is Dice gonna find some sort of answer? It's not looking too good. I believe in both of these players. See, perfect carry, like what I was talking about. There we go, perfect parry comes on in, but nothing from Dice still. Mm. Argon pushed him back one more time. I feel like from these distances, they're kind of awkward to convert from as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and here we go, drive rush. Oh, is this gonna, Ooh, It's a level three, yep, there you go. <laughs> from across the screen. I th Does this kill, does this kill? Nope. I believe. Oh, oh damn! Oh. Yikes! The perfect KO. Man. Oh man, and the JP victory coming in clutch. That was rough. Very well played from both players. Dice did what he could, yeah. Yeah, but it's just it's so awkward. Because mm -hmm. you're right. You're absolutely right. Lily has to play at like a pseudo range mm -hmm. so she can get her war clubs in. But because they can't, it just, it completely kills the game for them. So they really kind of have to play this mismatch of like, okay, how am I going to faint out the JP? Yeah, JP, like, <laughs> he sees you at that distance, and then he's like, okay, you're going to be there. I'll back off. <laughs> I see a lot of, like, round start options from, like, backing yourself off or, like, using a poke to just kind of keep yourself there, especially from JP, who's so uh, zoning-centric. Yeah. I think small decisions like that are really easy. Not easy. Uh, very interesting to see. Uh, mm -hmm from characters like that. And I think they're very commonly overlooked mm -hmm. just because people think it's like, it's a small adjustment, mm -hmm. but those small adjustments make big payouts. And with JP's case, like just, just staying just a little bit out of that range, mm -hmm. maybe play with like a faint. A smaller piece in that big picture, yeah. Exactly. So, ooh, I don't know, that was, ooh, that was insane. We got the venue hype though. We're getting eyes locked on the screen now, so. I mean, we're running here towards the end of this tournament, so. I'm stoked to see who takes this one home tonight. What's the prize for the night? I don't think there's a prize. What is next? Uh, let's see. I think we're going into top six. Yeah, we're going into top six now. Sweet. Yeah, we're, so here we go towards the end of the night. So we got Zeke, Argon, Dice, ABY, Lewis, the Panda, and Bracket 2, third. Uh, <laughs> undetermined, I'm assuming. Winner of Q. Okay, I think we're still in. Just give me a sec. Yeah, I think we're still in pools. Yep. Got a little bit too ahead of ourselves. But next, we got Scambolini and Sir Loyal. Ooh, Scambolini, Sir Loyal. Loyal plays Manon, right? Yes, Loyal yeah. plays Manon. Scambolini plays Cami. Yep. So I really, so I'm really interested in this matchup mainly because Cami is such a straightforward rushdown, mm -hmm. and Manon is more of like a, a, yes, a methodical kind of like I'm gonna mess around with you before I really get my game going. And it's so frustrating because mm -hmm. she can really just dance, move around, literally dance on you, yeah. <laughs> and Cam, because like the overhead, mm -hmm. the overhead special, and then she can also come at you low. She's got the command grab off of it as well. Mm hmm And, and it just it, it can really really get into it. So I want to see what. The answer is, what's going on? I have no idea. They may or may not be picking up side. Again, I'm a Tekken player, so like typically this is the most common occurrence. Is it? Is this volume? I don't want to mess around with it too much. Yeah, I don't mess around too much. I think yep. you just got it right. Oh yeah. How you feeling now? You feeling good? I'm feeling good. Uh, I kind of got a stretch. I'm hype, man. I'm hype for these matches. Yeah, especially as we're approaching top six, thing six yet. Really explosive here. The first showing for Street Fighter Six Juicy Game Night. Again, we do got the uh, monthly this weekend, so that should be particularly big. <coughs> we got some big names there. Everybody's everybody's going to be in there. By the way, you going to CEO? Am I going to see? Yeah, I'm not competing, though. No? I'll I got work that weekend, so uh -huh. I got to, like, yeah, think about it. Big sad. Whew. All right. I'm shaky now, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eager. I'm anticipating this. Hey, man. That's what I want. I want some top tier Street Fighter. That's what I'm here for, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Wait, this is uh not the. Oh, we're doing winners right now. I'm not sure who is it. Uh, this is Dice and Avy. It seems. Yeah, we're missing one. Was it losers? Yeah, I very con yeah. This is a uh, top six right now. Okay, yeah. So we're going top versus corner final. All right. Yeah, I very confidently said the matchup when it was going to be, but uh, that's not the case. Lily versus Marissa. Hmm. Oh boy. 
Let's see how this goes. Juicy game night. Let's get this going. Let's Dice versus ABY. All right, come on in with the poke. Both playing in the neutral. Oh, and Dice kicking this off. Mercer using those big buttons there. A -B -Y. Bam, bam. <laughs> oh, the punch. Oh, perfect parry. Are they going to come out from this? Oh. Again, that's what I'm talking about with Dice knowing where the uh, perfect parry. I think he's been studying this kind of stuff a lot. Mm -hmm. Really kind of shut down his opponent's game plan and really make him think twice. So Dice putting in that pressure. ABY trying to find a way out. Oh, yep, super, super armor. armor. ABY coming on in. You got to stuff out that super armor in the neutral. Here comes a trade. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ABY smelling the blood. But Dice not going down without a fight. Yikes. Oh, who's going to take this one? Oh, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> With the double jab, ABY coming in clutch. I was expecting a throw at some point, but uh, that's not the case. That's not the case. Here we go. Boot hits in. Another yeah, drive baby. rush command grab. Yeah, specifically uh, considering that Marissa's command grab comes off of that uh, that shield move of hers. I don't know the name of it. Uh, so once you see it once, uh, oh. you can kind of react to it most of the time. So you got to know when it's coming. Oh, but did you see that? Here we go, level two. Dice land, juicy hit, managing to back him up. Oh, but oh, ABY. Yeah, nice use of medium kick there off of Dry Brush. And mm. ABY, just that, just that aggression. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful, now just carry him out of there. All right, here we go. So while you unlock some titles. <laughs> oh, and ABY heavily on this offensive. Yeah, dry baby. Brush comes on in, into the corner already. Bam. Fantastic answer from Dice. Again, a common occurrence, uh, drive impact in the corner. It's very easy for the other player to retaliate the same thing. Yeah, you gotta be careful with it, and here we go. Dice trying to get into a good position. ABY backing up. Both players kind of giving each other a little bit of space. Mm -hmm. Kind of think, giving them that time to think. <laughs> yep, so here they go, perfect Dice, parry. But Dice really on point with these perfect parries. It's impressive. Oof. Backing up a little bit, just giving him a little bit of room. Mm -hmm. Trying to power up. Gladius. <laughs> Just out of range. And Gladius making a really good uh, ender, both on block strings and on hit because of its spacing. Dang, really? <laughs> it doesn't matter what the button, he's got the perfect pair, he's locked down. <laughs> Here he comes. Will this... Oh, Ooh, oh. yikes. Well done, Dice. Really kind of getting him into that corner, putting in that forward pressure. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here we go, ABY. Marissa's damage is also huge, considering how relatively simple her execution is. Oh, oh, oh no! Stuff it out with the safe jump. Oh, Bam! <laughs> the miss. Hmm. There oh, you go. Command grab. ABY looking so strong right now. Just do it again. <laughs> <laughs> we just do it again. <laughs> that was like some Mortal Kombat X type stuff. <laughs> Sam, finish him. All right, we can go back to the menu. <laughs> finish him. All right, here we go. Dice trying to find some sort of angle. Manages to land two hitter. And ABY looking for a good angle. I'm loving this poke game right now. Hmm. Manages to push him on back. And, and ABY just playing really, really gentle. Hmm. Kind of finding the angle. Oh my god, there it is! Is this good? Oh! <laughs> Drop the combo. Again, even if you convert off of the perfect parry, the scaling is very heavy to compensate for it, so. The scaling hurts, that's mm -hmm. what it does. High play nonetheless, but still, something to keep in mind. Dice pushing on in, trying to get him back into the corner. Trying to Good tie. Good poke, but not quite enough. Scatter. Oh, okay. great spike coming on in. Don't want to be a little bit too reckless here. Nope. There Ooh. you go. Command Bam. grab. Gladia spacing. Oh, Ooh, no. No, not quite. Oh. Oof. Here he goes. Who's going to land it? Dice in a dicey it's situation. Right oh, man. That might no. Oh, it didn't Drop miss. Drop the combo. Drop the combo. It's just a one hit. It's Inversion. a one hitter. Oh. Yes. All right. That was great. <laughs> ABY taking the oh, cake. My this is ridiculous. That combo with a sliver of health. Yeah, he didn't give up. That was insane. It's very easy to crack in situations like that. It's just like, well, all or nothing. At least that's me, for me personally. So uh, it's good to see, uh, what was that player's name again? Dice? <laughs> ABY. Uh, ABY, wait. yeah. Yeah, ABY, just really keeping his cool there with his pressure and all that. Yeah, and not really letting Dice kind of have the way. Mm -hmm. Really, like, 
even though they were in a one health and a dream, they really kept dice against that corner. Mm -hmm. And they weren't reckless with any of their attacks. I think that's really what kind of gave him the advantage, was kind of keeping it safe, kind of understanding where dice might mm -hmm. want to be, and knowing, knowing that just one jab, that's it. Yeah, adapting to each player's play styles, really playing it safe at the very end. Whew. Oh, man. Starting to widen down here, starting to... Alrighty, that. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it seems that pools have gotten situated. Scamblini and who was it? It was Sir Royal or Loyal? Sir Loyal. Sir oh, Loyal. they played it off stream. Okay, that's why. So now we got. We're going through uh, losers right now before we go to winners, right? I believe so. I think right. No. It's winners finals and then loser semis and then finals, right? I believe that's how it works, right? Yes, question mark. I do not know. Yeah, so next. Hmm. So top five right now, we got the standings. And winners, we got Zeke and Argon. And then losers, we got Dice and ABY, which we just played. And then Lewis, excuse me, Lewis the Panda and Scambolini. So I believe we're going to be seeing Lewis and Scamps next. Yeah, they come now. Yep. Oh, yeah. So we got some time to fill some some holes. <laughs> you cold? <laughs> uh, a little bit, as well as just anticipation, eagerness. All right, here we go. Lewis the Panda coming back in. Mm -hmm. I feel like these matches, especially on commentary, really give me the opportunity to really analyze how matchups are really. Uh, how they go down, especially with like so many characters just kind of like overlapping and archetypes and stuff like that. I feel like I see a lot of butting heads and how certain characters react to others and certain options and certain opportunities, like situations, all that kind of stuff, especially with the players and what they do with those. Yeah, I think I think overall it's just it's good for your game uh, to be able to analyze it at that level and kind of get a little bit of pushback, kind of mm -hmm. kind of hit some middle ground. Yeah, I never really. Yeah, I'm kind of like in an intermediate kind of level, but I never really uh, hit that point where I kind of like understood how matchups are played, mm -hmm. uh, except for here in Street Fighter, because obviously it's a very much more methodical, much more deliberate, uh, relatively speaking, obviously. But uh, yeah, I feel like a lot of the decisions are very like out there, very, again, deliberate. So we kind of see like what's working, what isn't, what is being reacted to what, and what situation, what's being built on, all that kind of stuff. <sighs> all righty. Here we go. I think they're setting up right now. I hear them in the menu. I think they were getting rid of some controllers. <laughs> <laughs> we're not having another one of those oh, happen yeah. again. There was some uh, like semi fake outs a couple more times, but uh. <laughs> here they go. I wonder what they're gonna be fighting this time. Oh, that's one I haven't seen yet. Ranger's Hut. That's a Blanca stage. Unbinding buttons as opposed to just rebinding them. There you go. Oh, because they're both playing on sticks. I play on controllers. So I'm just that. Okay. You don't want any misinputs. Should have figured. And here we go. Where are we going to see? Oh, 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 snap. We're going to see Lewis the Panda bringing back the E Honda versus Cami. Mm -hmm. Again, if uh, Lewis's games are anything to go by, this first game should be. I don't want to downplay him a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, don't don't put him down like that. No, no, I wasn't going to, but like you know, these are typically the games where Lewis is trying to get his feet wet, trying to get himself situated. So we should be seeing that here. All right, Lewis trying to feel himself final. out. <laughs> okay, just going on with a headbutt. Not afraid to just jump on in, Scambolini, try and find some sort of poke, but just giving him a lot okay. of a lot of space. Finding yeah. him. I feel like in this matchup against Cami, I think it's best to stuff her out beforehand or in advance. So Lewis is really using that distance to really kind of feel her out. Oh, and here comes the push. Scambolini looking for the overhead. Didn't really do anything with it, though. Yeah, and she had the jab locking them in place. So Smash Brothers terminology right here. <laughs> here we go. Coming in with the spiral arrow, coming in overhead, but not really landing anything. 
Lewis had the buff. Lewis the Panda still finding his way out of there with full meter. And pushing their way out. Here he goes. Drive rush. Finding that momentum. Yikes. Oh. I feel like it's very easy to disrespect kind of invincible reversals like that on offense. Oh, that DP. Ooh, oh, good conversion oh, oh. right there. Fantastic. I didn't know you could do that. Fantastic conversion from Lewis the Panda. Coming in strong right here regardless of what I was talking before the match started. <laughs> Oh, and here he comes. There you go. With the palms and the combos just continuing. Scambolini. All right. Oh, level three. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. And right now, Scambolini Slam. not in a good spot. Headbutt? Not quite. No, Scambolini just looking for some sort of exit. Mm -hmm. There Spen it is. Spends the, less of the, spends the last of the drive to get out of there. Uh-oh. Ooh. Just a sumo drop. That's just so hard to beat. Yeah, all of Honda specials, actually, now that you mention it. All of them are, are obviously, there's headbutt. And then there's just everything else, which is like, uh, again, with hand slaps, you can kind of like lock your opponent in place with that. You can mash out of it, but you just got to be very careful about it. And then there's, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, sumo drop, which, again, leaves him, uh, I, I wouldn't say it leaves him plus, uh, to my knowledge, but, you know, it, it, he's safe. He can act like that. All right. Oh, and the miss from Lewis the Panda, but it doesn't yeah. matter. Just that, just that pressure is incredible. Scambolini's got to be careful with it. Loses the drive. Oh, and Lewis the Panda's smelling blood. There it is in the water. Eagerly oh. anticipating his opponent's approach. Oh, 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 oh man, that pressure is ridiculous. Scambolini's got to find some sort of answer. And DP didn't beat that. Okay. Good air to air trades. There he uh -oh. goes. Ooh. Getting a little bit too ahead of yourself there. Yep. Great conversion there from Lewis the Panda. Dash push in. Oh, okay. Anti er, I'm sorry, DP managed to push him way out. But losing all that meter. Oh, this is gonna be very dangerous. Yeah, those buffs that Honda's giving himself, any uh hit confirmer interaction should be explosive, both on I would say hit and block. Alright, Scambolini it, bringing it back to neutral. Now trying to put in that offensive pressure, but Lewis the Panda managing to push him out. Getting a little bit too jump heavy there on Lewis's end. Getting into the critical. He's got the critical arts. This might hurt. Oh, this Yikes. is going to hurt. I this, feel. Mm. This will kill? I don't think so. Nope, ah. it's not going to. Forehead. Of course, oh. it covers the health bar at the end. <laughs> so we have no way of knowing. There oh. we go. The chip kills, though. The chip by damage. By attrition. Fantastic. Well done. Good read on that, too. Mm -hmm. manages, manages to notice the chip right outside of that. I mean, listening for the, um, oh, I forget. What is it called again? The sumo drop? No. When <laughs> you're burnout. There we go. Burnout, yeah. I keep thinking breakdown. I don't know why my brain was. But yeah, knowing that the burnout was there, knowing that Scamolini didn't really have many options after that, and just going straight for the EX yep. headbutt. Oh, that's just, just. kind of going all in, especially with his life lead right there. Not really much to lose. Uh huh. I mean, yeah, why not? Yeah, these games are going by really quickly. Very explosive again, as is. Uh, uh, pre, pre, premit, premit, pre, to, to pre, pre something, as I was expecting, basically, <laughs> for lack of a better word. All right, give me one second. I gotta get. Preminating? Is that the word? I think that's it. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we got, uh, I believe it's winner's finals, then loser's semis, and then loser's finals, to my knowledge. So, once again, standings are Zeke and Argon and winners. And then we got ABY and Lewis the Panda and losers, I believe. Yep, we're doing winners right now. We got Argon and Zeke setting up right now. Zeke plays jury, right? I believe so. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah, oh man. Jury versus JP. Oh, <laughs> oh snap. I think this is the third or fourth time that Argon's been on stream with his JP. Again, all of his matchups have been very fascinating to observe. <laughs> observe. Haha, <laughs> lack of. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because again, like I was mentioning before, it, it bears mentioning every time that, like, JP's, uh, JP's one of those character archetypes whose matchups can get really lopsided and just really interesting one way or the other from one player to another. A very tug of war type stuff. And again, Zeke's pressure, he again, uh, to remind myself, uh, he makes really good use of his drive meter. So any opening that he might get on Argon and his JP, it could end up being really deadly, especially with his throw loops that he seems to be really happy about. 
sorry, I got panicked. The my two fa two FA just hit and I have not logged in, so oh. I was like, oh snap. I'm I'm panicking right now. Anyway, but I think we're good. Anyway, sorry, sorry. Continue. I believe Lewis. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Zeke is setting up his sound. Yeah, I think that's another thing. Uh, I think uh, sound design really plays a key role in Street Fighter 6, especially with Drive Impact, that whoosh that you really got to keep out for. Mm -hmm. I feel like that really ate me up during my pools. Yeah, no, same. Just I guess I, I didn't realize like how much I'm into in tune like mm -hmm. to what goes on. Especially with like character cues as well, because outside of Drive Impact, it's like <laughs> Gene Rai and stuff like that. You know, Observe, Pierce and stuff like that. All right, here we go. Winner's final, Zeke. Coming in with the throw immediately, but Argon just pushing them back. Yep. Man, look at that approach off the drive rush. That is incredible. Unafraid. Oh, double grab. Ooh, he mm, wants a double yikes. with cheese. Damn. Oh, and really here grab he heavy. Live rush again. Overhead. Ooh, goes I keep forgetting he has the counter. Yep. You got to use that uh, very well. Oh, but another grab, and now Argon. Yikes. <laughs> Again, Zeke really going in on that drive rush. It's fascinating to see every time it bears repeating. Yeah, and it's really hard for Argon to deal with that, mm -hmm. just all that forward pressure. Yikes. Managing landing on it. It's in. very quick, too. I would say, like, next to DJs, it covers a lot of space in so little time. Mm hmm but I, I love the way he's kind of just dealing with it. Mm -hmm. Zeke's just kind of parrying it. Yikes. Ooh. You got to anticipate it in advance, like I was talking about with the Kami matchup. There it is, Argon managing to push mm -hmm, him back. Not quite. But Zeke just coming on in. Argon getting Yikes. that pressure, still with the life lead, though. Again, I'm getting anxiety looking at this. Like, I'm putting myself in my these players' shoes right now. Oh, oh and critical art, baby. It's not going to kill, but it's putting Zeke it's in gonna a hurt. bad spot. Yeah, especially if it doesn't kill, it really puts you in a bad spot. Oh, Yikes. Oh, 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 oh. And the jump from Zeke secured the first round. Or the first match. Yeah, Zeke uh, does really good with conditioning in terms of throwing. He's really playing around that, really, really having your opponent just expect grabs like that and just kind of like playing around that when to anticipate it and when not to. Ooh, trying nice. to get the max of that range. Landed that parry. Ho, 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 ho. Drive impact. And now Argon on the defensive. But Zeke. The conversion off the back dash poke. This is ridiculous. Yeah, Zika's not letting up. Oh my goodness, he's a monster out here. Look at this. What is this damage, bro? Oh my god. I blinked and it was over. Zeke is just putting in that work. Hmm. There you go, there goes the trade. Preemptive defense here, not quite enough. There you go, you gotta drive impact it. And the drive impact. You gotta here stuff we, it out. This is gonna be big damage coming from Argon. I feel like a lot of these matchups that we've been seeing, we learn a lot of and kind of like apply to different matchups, regardless of how wildly different they could be. Here we go. Zeke on the offensive, but Argon with the life lead. Mm -hmm. Oof, and here he goes. Back Maintain in that momentum. May not be easy. He's in the corner. Yep, conditioning, just as I was saying. Oh. Just do it again. Jump. Yep. See? Oh. There you go. Ooh, Argon. Oh. Yikes, not quite the distance, though. And this is a critical art. Oh, good one. Oh. Critical art, do it. I'm not sure if he wants to save it for no, the next round. Yeah, yeah, yeah he wanted yeah. to save that. Oh, great conversion there by Argon. That last second mm -hmm. DI just really saved him. Especially if how they're buffered with how they're being hit and stuff like that. All right, Zeke starting off with the level three. Just getting fr yourself in the lead, yeah. Yeah, knowing that JP's really gonna wanna work against that. Try yeah, to by that same token, uh, level threes uh, can really put you in the life lead or it could save you around, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Both players using level threes very differently. And right now, Yikes. oh man. man, Zeke with that offense. <laughs> Argon, I believe, uh, from what I'm, from what I can tell, he's starting to find his ground. Poke not quite enough to stuff out the drive impact. Whoa. Trying to do it himself, but not quite there. Can't find the angle, and Zeke is just ridiculous. Yikes, low, oh, wow. these mix-up Zeke. What the is low happening? Low highs. Yikes. What is Look that? at this. Oh my God. What this is, is disgusting? What is happening, bro? The super. It's gonna kill. No. It's gonna kill. No, oh, not quite. Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. this is hard to watch. What is going on? Oh, this is so scary. Zeke is just in there like swimwear, bro. Oh, and Argon's backing up. This isn't looking mm -hmm. good. He's got to find that pace. Mm, man. There you go, punish counter. And now Zeke just working that magic. Mm. And now Argon trying to get some sort of ground. Manages to land the hit. Ooh. Yeah, even on block string, Zeke's... Uh, his pressure is getting him uh, more drive gauge. Yikes. Ooh, in that last second, DI 
from Zeke. Oh, it's going to put him into an advantageous position right now. Here he goes, goes for the grab. Uh, you could uh. do the level three as a reversal, but oh. yikes. Oh, oh, oh. Man, just keep going. Zang. Because you never know whether or not that's going to jump or like, you know, the RPS situation of like a poke stuffing out your jump in order to beat the grab or, you know, it's a whole ordeal. Yeah, no, I think, I think Zeke was very good, as you said before, just the conditioning kind of forcing Argon to make these really bad decisions because mm -hmm. it's just like, you know, it's just like tick throws, like mm -hmm. tick throws or maybe like a jump in and just really keeping him on his toes because if you notice the match, Zeke never stayed in the corner. Yeah. And it's just like kind of just seeing how that works. I was like, wow, okay. Constantly going for the drive rush, not letting JP kind of get that air he needs to really push his way forward. You got to give it to him, bro. And I feel like with counterplay like that, um, I feel like uh, Argon, he had a full, full stick of uh, super meter there that I feel like he could have used, especially with that offensive pressure right there. I don't think it would hurt to just kind of bust out one of them since Zeke's just going in there, pressing so many buttons. It kind of beats that kind of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think maybe. I think maybe like a wake up, you know, level one might have been able to do something, mm -hmm. you know? But then again, we're not in those shoes, number one. Number two, the yeah. pressure that Zeke was exerting is just incredible. I mean, really kind of working through those pokes, kind of being able to stay at max distance range. JP just trying to find something, but that whiff punish is just disgusting. Right now we got uh, ABY and Lewis the Panda currently. Yep. Whoever wins this fights Argon, and whoever wins that fights Zeke during the... Grand Finals. Yeah, we are closing in. We are coming in towards the end of the tournament. Thank you, guys. Uh, those of you who are in the audience tonight, thank you for joining us for Juicy Game Night here at Versus Gaming. Uh, I am the Loud T-Rex once again, joined here by Dark Sage. Yes, that is correct. And we are your casters for the night. All right. Oh, that was that was odd. I've never seen a first player go right. Yeah, I think it's because uh, he's registered as player two, but he's on the left side, so he needs to get in the left one, yeah. Ah. Again, I'm a Tekken player. That's a total ordeal. <laughs> All right, so it's best out of... Okay, it's first to two. First to two, yeah, yeah. This is the semis. That's right. We're going losers now. Lewis and Honda? I don't know who Lewis is going to bring up this time. I believe it's going to stick with Honda. I'm not sure if we've seen any pockets uh, tonight. Yep, no, yeah. stick with Honda. That Honda gameplay is just absolutely bonkers. They played each other, right? Uh, yeah, they did, actually. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. this is going to be the rematch. ABY is going to have to find some sort of counteroffensive against Lewis the Panda. Here we go. All right, headbutt coming straight from Lewis the Panda. Yeah, round start options are always fascinating to see on either player's side. And both of them playing it relatively safe, jumping from ABY, but doesn't land it. You can punish Gladius with that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Ooh, from here we go. The palms are coming in. Lewis the Panda finding that offensive push. I am dumbfounded right now. ABY. Wow, that really yikes. That takes an advantage for Lewis because you can't really go trigger happy with Gladius like I thought you could, but Ooh, there I we guess go. not. Command grab. Lewis the Panda. <laughs> oh, snap. Manages to push him back. That headbutt is just beautiful. Yeah, it makes for a good reversal, especially the EX one, the hit of armor that it has. But Lewis the Panda comes out with the first round. Yeah, Lewis is doing, again, very good with the adaptation, like we've uh, mentioned before, like I've mentioned before. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's doing much better with it. And ABY on the offensive, putting in Lewis the Panda, trying to get him into the corner, but Lewis the Panda getting out just in time. Perry comes on in, both of them playing in the middle of the stage. Oh, yeah, you got to stuff out the... Uh, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, Marissa's uh, specials also have a little bit of startup to them, depending on what she's doing. Oof. Got to stuff it out beforehand. And Lewis the Panda, smelling blood, pushing their way forward. Good job. Oh, that's yeah, a manage oh, manages to get him with the toe. But is that going to be enough to swing this into their favor? Oh, 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 command grab. And now Lewis the Panda mm. in a rough spot. Oh, is that the splat? Ooh, like oh. a hair away from the corner. Yikes. Just just so much. Just so much from that. Pardon my squealing. I'm getting very excited. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you in it, bro. You in it. 
Oh, and Lewis the Panda with a massive punish. We've seen this one. Oh, oh, oh my. Yeah, all the interactions in this game are particularly explosive, but I feel like it varies from character to character, especially with Honda. He can just kind of really snowball you if he really gets you into that, that mindset, that position. And Marissa just... <gasps> okay, it's just Oof. he was too far from the Gladius to punish it. That is strange. I, that is fascinating. And Lewis, incredible. And Lewis the Panda on game point. Explosive, but ABY not out of this fight yet. Pushing Lewis the Panda into the corner. Okay. Oh, good answer from Lewis. Just barely being able to punish the Gladius at the very end. What's up, bro? Here he comes. Ooh, you want that combo meal? Come on, baby. I love it. Here comes a drive rush. ABY getting pushed into the corner. Oh, drive oh, impact. Beating the drive impact is strange. Well, then again, it would go the other way if any of it had missed. Oh, boy. And this is dangerous territory for ABY. This won't kill, but he's it in danger. It always puts him in bad situations. He's in danger zone. However, oh, burn you out never as know. Burnout as well. ABY getting a little bit too jump happy there. I mean, he's going for something. Again, right? backing off on burnout. There Just you go. Looking for that angle. He knows he wants that head. Ooh, that headbutt. Again, you really got to anticipate what Honda's going to do next, especially how much space they cover and how little time. Kind of like with Cami and uh, with uh, Jury's dry rest and stuff like that, what we've been seeing. Yeah. What an, what an incredible set from Lewis the Panda, just mm -hmm. really dominating that Marissa matchup. Yeah, he's really, excuse me, he's taking really good advantage of his character's strengths, his own play style, again, really getting himself more situated. Again, uh, considering, I have to mention this every time, uh, how the first games of all of his sets have always been really rough in terms of him uh, trying to find his footing. But I feel like he's really turning himself around here. Yeah. No, for sure. Like, his, his play style is adapted. He's definitely getting – those level threes are disgusting yeah. at the time that they're coming in. And, and they're very perfectly timed. His headbutt game is pretty good. He's not really whiffing a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where he's really winning in these matchups, really watching for those shakeups and just getting – He's kind of locking on to it and really, like, breaking it apart piece by piece. Mm-hmm. Next, we got Argon and Lewis. Lewis. Argon plays JP. Again, I'm. Yes. Wait a minute. No, I'm just trying to determine whether or not we've seen a JP Honda matchup right now. I don't think so. I don't so. think so, no. Yeah, I don't think so. Ooh. Yeah, I'm trying to refrain myself from mentioning it so many times, but just like, again, that JP matchup, I'm always like, I always have to like audibly <laughs> exclaim how much I anticipate uh, what I'm about to see. Yeah, I know. I think I think it's um, I think it's also good because it kind of reminds you where you should be. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Six three. <laughs> oh my god, these dudes are titans. Yeah, you gotta love all those beefy boys. They're all <laughs> very tall. All right. The Honda Ar bro moment face. Argon versus Lewis, the Panda losers finals. Let here we go. we go. That's three out of five. And the headbutt coming in from Lewis the Panda. Argon's got to find some sort of angle. Ooh, he's starting off strong this round. Mm -hmm. Lewis trying to find some sort of angle. Poking, coming in strong. Ooh. Honda specialist could really have him skip all that uh, that set play that JP's trying to do on his end. Yikes, just barely being able to get the amnesia counter. Ooh, and there comes the counter. Ooh. Well done, headbutt, EX headbutt. Mm. Oh, jumps over the drive impact. Oh, doesn't throw him back. There you go. He's just putting in that pressure, not letting him through. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, headbutt just really, literally getting him straight to the point. <laughs> oh, well. Yikes, but not quite enough, though. Well done there from Argon, managing to convert that. This is a longer set as well, so we might see a little bit more uh, adaptational play here. There he goes, drive rush, Argon, oh, snap. Getting pushed back into the corner. Oh, my goodness. Oh, That's awkward. Putting himself in a fantastic position. Yeah, look. headbutt's safe, too, so you could just kind of get away with it willy-nilly. <laughs> Did you see that? He just headbutt, headbutt. That's the Honda high bind and the EX one with the armor. Oof. Okay. And here it comes. Lewis looking for some sort of angle. Argon playing really good defensively right now. But now he's getting pushed into the corner once again. I haven't been seeing many sumo throws. He's been kind of relying a lot of on heavy strikes, heavy pressure. 
Oh, and here it comes. It's a big one. Here comes the snap. You got to watch out for the overheads. They're all predetermined as well. So once you get the order down, you can be able to react to them accordingly. Oh, but now Argon on burnout. This is not a favorable position. That's going to kill. That's a kill. Well done there from Lewis to Panda, making that conversion. You got to take what you can get. Always take what you can get. You got to complement those uh, hit confirms, those conversions that you can get. And Argon really only has a level one. So there's really not that much of a bar lead here. Yeah, in terms of uh, defensive options, right? Mm-hmm. Or offensive options. Like a retaliation technique, what we were talking about earlier. He could use uh, those supers as a little panic tool. I'm not sure if Argon's that type of player to really panic like that. So he's more methodical that kind of way. Again, that's why his character choice is JP right here. Very Ooh. apt for the kind of player. Oh my god, but this combo, or this pressure from Lewis is just ridiculous. Argon's doing a pretty good job trying to, not trying to, he's doing a good job uh, blocking all these strikes from uh, Lewis. He's kind of going all in. He's kind of defending them and reacting accordingly, trying to do what he can, poking him out. But those headbutts from Lewis to Panda are just phenomenal. And here we go, Argon and Burnout. This could be anyone's game. It could be. Oh, and here comes the splat. That's it. Ooh, careful. Is, is this going to kill? I don't think so. Yikes. Well, I would have thought he'd go about. for level two. Oh, and the level Weird. three to close it out. Argon up 1-0. Ooh, One of the coolest that. looking supers in the game. <laughs> and just the coldest finish. He walks over their body. That's insane. I'm so evil. <laughs> <laughs> evil people. Mm. Well done there from Lewis to Panda, headbutting his way out of there. Ooh, anticipated the drive, or the drive impact. And now here we go, heavy damage. Hargan looking for some sort of angle, anti air Oh, snap, and here we go. Argon on the offensive. Now he's on the defensive. I'm not sure about heavy uh, trick love. I think it's called the cane swing. I'm not sure of the frame data on that. It's safety. Oh, and the head, but Argon in a bad spot. Yikes. Oh. Could be anyone's game right now. Oh. Lewis oh, almost he, had it. He EX headbutt, go. Drop the combo. Damn, oh. almost there. Yeah, EX headbutt is actually unsafe, so darn. Outside of his normal headbutts. Uh -huh. I almost forgot about that. He lingers just a little bit too long. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of incentivizing the hit of armor that it has. <coughs> All right, here they go, playing in the middle. Argon coming out with the first initial combo, and just really keeping Lewis the Panda at bay. Drive rush coming on in. Lewis the Panda finds something, but Argon just has an answer. I think he's he's learning the adaption here. He's not letting. He's not letting the Honda pressure really get to him, but here we go, level three. He's gonna, he's gotta even this out somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with rushdown characters like this at JP's disadvantage, uh, I feel like in terms of uh, getting there for the rushdown character, I feel like they get it done, uh, this is gonna sound a little strange. They get it done little by little. Honda's just kind of straight to the point, so he could just kind of headbutt in and just kind of, if it fails, he'll just get sent back to where he was previously. But with other characters, they just kind of work their way in uh, slowly by slowly, as my parents say. <laughs> All right, Lewis the Panda, not in a good spot. Especially with the pushback. Kind of yep. leaves JP at that mid-range where he wants to be. Argon really finding that, he's really finding his stride in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hopefully Lewis the Panda can bring it back as pressures unreal. His pressure's ridiculous, but right now, all the answers that Argon can offer, ooh, here's a trade. Oh, overshot it, and now he's in a bad spot. Here comes the combo. Here comes the schmix. Oh, and here he comes. Oh, doesn't manage to complete anything. Went for okay. another one. Oh, now both in yellow. So no headbutt for your projectiles. Oh. Yeah, because with the startup on Argon's, uh, excuse me, <laughs> here I am again. JP's clones, uh, they don't actually uh, strike. They're not active until they hit you, so you could just kind of blow past it. Same goes with his command grab. All right, and here they go. Pressure coming on in. Lewis the Panda's got to find some sort of angle here. He does manage to have the first, uh, first round, but... There's a lot of tension here. 
Yep, here he goes, trying to make his way in. Oh, great job from Argon, pushing him into the corner. Well, Lewis got himself there. That he did. Got to be careful. Axumo oh. headbutt EX is punishable. You got to remember that. And burnout. And right now, Argon has so much to burn. Yikes. Didn't Dang. matter. That <laughs> chip. That chip damage was coming in anyway. Yeah, that's really scary. All right, here he goes. EX manages to push Argon back. I almost forgot about the buffs. There he goes, man. Just come on in. Is he going to go for the level three as we've seen quite a bit? Yep. yep. Go straight for the level three. He is Giving not. Giving yourself a head start. Yep, he is not playing around with this. Oh my god. That is some big damage. Did wow, that's more I was expecting. Oh, oh my. I was expecting it to be at least 50%, but. Jeez. Wow. Uh oh, here it comes. Oh, but Lewis of Panda's trying to take his time, not. Not just rushing on in, managing. Oh, good conversion. Thanks. Oh, missed the grab. Oh, Fantastic yeah, baby. Fantastic work. Back was at you. Staying alive in this loser's final, two to one. But will be will he be able to find the final two? This is the part where you got to dig deep, man. Use everything you've got. Manages to land the punish counter. Ooh, <laughs> good one to bust through the armor. Okay. Still trying to... Side. Trying to really work that pressure in. Argon, oh, well done with the jump back. And now he's going in for that pressure, but. Yeah, it's really risky to use a departure window like that to really get up close where JP does not want to be. You really got to take those risks. Mm hmm. Good air to air trade hey, there. Loser's final, either risk it all or. Oh, don't bother. Argon's got the lead, but he can't let it go to his head because, again, Argon's not, not, <coughs> excuse me, not that kind of player, so. There he goes, command grab, finally lands. Observe, there you go, EX observe. Oh. Not quite Pierce. Did, and he knows he can't really just use Look at that tension, man, that's what <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> there it is, well done on the command grab. Those are always my favorite moments in fighting games, not when they're, you know, fighting each other, but like when they're about to. <laughs> it's that, oh, here he goes. That anticipation. Gets him with the low. Nice. Good sumo headbutts. EX headbutt. He's got I think they're best as a retaliation tool as opposed to just a, an approach tool because of the unsafety of them. Oh, and here goes the conditioning, trying to find some sort of angle. Argon, though, with that pressure. Oh, there he goes. Lewis the Panda works his way in, but Argon is just, he's getting really good at this pushback. He's getting kind of comfortable here. He is. Ooh, trade. Oh, and here we go, level that three. That is going to hurt. I don't think it'll kill. I don't think it'll kill either, but it's going to hurt. We're getting close to it. Yeah, there it is. Uh-oh, oh. the conversion? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is going to hurt. That gonna is going to kill. I think that'll kill. You think it'll kill? No. Actually, wait. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. That's way too much health. <laughs> Again, the Saint Samurai shot on. There's no rage here. Oh, Yikes. snap. Great job there by Argon. Under pressure, bringing out that level three. Set point here for Argon. Drive rushes in for a low. Doesn't get anything to hit. And Lewis is really making. Taking advantage of those knockdowns. Uh huh. Getting jump happy, but I think he's just trying to find some sort of angle. But Argon's just not taking the bait. Headbutt approach. Oh, punish counter. counter. Bam. That's so much damage. Honda's the machine. He Look is. At oh, mm. snap. Hargan manages to get the pushback. Oh, oh and man. the trade. Lewis, the panda. In it to win it. 2 2 in Dude. losers' finals. Oh, 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 man. All right, Lewis, the panda. Start and then a rocky start here at the very beginning. Managed uh -oh. trying to find his way forward, but Argon is trying to keep up that pressure. I keep forgetting about the initial lunge that the head, uh, the throw, uh, sumo flip has. 
All right, and Argon pushing his way out. Lewis Apanda doing everything possible to try and push his way forward. That was a really odd drive impact, but it doesn't matter here. Argon keeping up that forward pressure, not taking the bait. And here we go into the corner. Last bit of health. Oh, Lewis man. Apanda cannot hold on to, or cannot take the pressure. Set point for Argon yet again. Let's see how this turns out. We don't want to speak too soon. And here we go, Lewis the Panda goes in, drive rush, Argon backing up, not taking any risks just yet. Headbutt puts him into the back, or puts him into the corner. And now the fighting middle. Oh, great, great drive rush there. Lewis the Panda pushing his way forward. Drive rush cancel is a little bit of an expensive tool, but if used properly, it can really complement the player using it. Oh, and here we go, machine gun hands. Command grab, Argon in the yellow. He is critical, jumps over. Bam. <laughs> Level like, three? No, no. Not quite. Not yeah, yeah, quite. Yeah, you don't want to waste it there. You don't want to waste it there. And here we go. Game point for losers oh, finals. My goodness. Oh, Argon taking the full brunt of that combo. Here they are in the middle. Trying to find some sort of poke. Drive rush. Lewis the Panda finding the Level three, getting that head start. Oh my god, he's coming in strong. What's gonna be Argon's oh, answer? Oh man. Oh Got a little bit pre too preemptive there. Is he gonna go for the level three? Oh no, he's not, not yet. He's holding on to that for just a little bit longer. Head, but Argon. He's gotta be careful. He's running into dangerous territory. Finding his way back to the middle though. Don't want to get too close. All right, and here we go. Oh, Ooh, anti good anti airs. Good anti airs. Lewis Panda can't lose his cool. He's got to be careful. Off. He's pushing his way. Poke battles coming on in. Oh, no conversion on that. Oh my God, here it comes. Lewis the Panda, level oh. one. Oh boy. Oh, oh my God. Oh. 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 oh my God, the clutch win there from Lewis. The <laughs> they're getting oh, man, a delay. The pop off. <laughs> oh, the delay. Oh, oh fantastic goodness. work. Lewis the Panda not losing his cool in the last final seconds. Managed to read the counter, jumped over it, finished with the oh. Oh my goodness. That was incredible. What a spectacular set. The mind games towards the very end is absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like we're running on into Grand, grand Finals. finals it's baby. gonna be Zeke, Zeke versus and. Lewis the Panda. Mm -hmm. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. You got you gotta give it to Lewis the Panda though. Dude's been starting away starting from what is it, losers loser semis? I he's, don't remember. He's been playing for a hot minute right now. Yeah. So definitely needs a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Once again, y'all, this is Juicy Game Night here at Versus Gaming in the Oviedo Mall. Please join us. Uh, did you do weeklies here? Is that yes. actually my first time here? Absolutely. Oh, well then come on in for weeklies. You like to play card games? Come on here as well. Take a look at these wonderful dragon heads. These wonderful uh, magic, what do they call them? The commanders? Com Commander cards? Yeah, the, 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 the posters. A Man. lot of tabletop game lingo I'm pretending to know about, but uh, <laughs> yeah. The fighting game players, man. <laughs> I don't tabletop game. Mine is in sticks. Hey, man, I know what Blue Eyes White Dragon is. <laughs> that's like, that's the card that wins the whole game, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm knowledgeable on that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm kind of an expert, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Shadowless Charizard, I know my kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Zeke is approaching right now. Ah, oh, you can feel the tension. Oh, man. Last little bits. And Zeke has been amazing with that forward pressure. Now, here's the question, though. Last match was zoner versus rushdown. Now we're going rushdown versus rushdown. Oh, yeah. So I, this is going to look like a Dragon Ball Z battle. I yeah. promise you. Jury's uh quite quick on her feet though, so he could really take. Uh, she, excuse me, she could really take advantage of uh, the space that Han is kind of hesitating to kind of utilize. Mm -hmm. So again, we never know unless we see. So. All right, and here we go. Both players getting situated. Grand Finals here at Juicy Game Night. You can feel the intensity in the air. <laughs> you got to say it like a like an announcer. Hit in the air, boys. Obligatory CVS2 reference. Oh my god. 
Capcom versus SNK too? Yep. Oh my god, I haven't Yeah, James Chen, uh, he's one of the in-game announcers. He makes plenty of references to that game Does? in the game. I, I can't play with the uh, I can't play with the commentary because it gets in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But really, I didn't know that. I have, I have not played. You can turn the commentary settings to like root for you. I know that much. I know that much, but it's but like it gets you thinking a little bit too hard about it, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, figures. I like their call outs because it kind of like it helps me out sometimes, but oftentimes it gets in my it gets in my head because I'm like, you're right. Oh, really got to maintain that position there. It's like, yeah, I think like I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you're right. But shut up. All right, here we here go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Juicy game night weekly. Oof. Skipping the intro. Yikes. Yeah, they're not playing with that. Ugh. Honda's not happy about that. <laughs> Bruh. Going oh. straight into it. All right, grand final, Zeke versus Lewis the Panda. We start off with a trade? I didn't know this was a stock market. Oh, here we go. Zeke with the push. Oh, gets the splat. Doesn't really have anything else to go with it. Hmm. Headbutt coming on in. And Lewis the Panda trying to find some sort of angle. Manages to push him out. Okay. Ooh. There goes the grab from the dry brush. Second grab. Oh. <laughs> Taking advantage of the openings you can get. Oh, Yikes. So much pressure here from Zeke. Yeah, typically you kind of buffer into that drive impact. It's really weird to see it like raw. Well, then again, you're in the corner. You're expecting drive impact anyways, but you know, you got to stay on your toes there. And here we go. Drive rush from Lewis the Panda trying to flip the script on him, but ho, oh, ho, ho. Great overhead there from Zeke. Oh, this is not a good spot Yikes. to be in. There it is again. What the heck? Took his sweet time into getting this. I don't think you can mash out a stun either, right? No, nah, I don't think so. Yeah, typically in previous Street Fighter games, stun gave people, you know, opportunities to flex, but uh, I don't know. No, not, well, I mean, it happens so rarely here. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't see the reason. Ooh. Well done, and Zeke takes the first Stuffing hit. Stuffing him out, yeah. All right, here we go. Headbutt coming on in. Zeke with the grab. Strike throw. We got to remind ourselves that, the conditioning. Drive rush coming in twice. Zeke putting Lewis into the corner. Ooh, overhead. Oh, this is going to be disgusting. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, no. And here comes, at the wrong time. Here comes the splat. Lewis the Panda is not looking good. Managing to get out of there, though. And oh my. Not quite enough, though. The oh, tick throw. Oh my god. This is incredible. Here we go. Lewis the Panda has got to find some sort of momentum. Zeke managing to get. Managing to get to. Pushing his way in. Drive rush. Overhead. Into the DP. Oh, yeah, no. staying up just outside of that range in order to challenge. Oh no, and Yikes. Lewis. The explosion. Level three. Oh my god. <clears throat> Incredible. Incredible gameplay here from Zeke. Up to zero. Not rusty at all. No, he is he is determined. He is aggressive and he is going to get that W. He is working for it. Straight into its set point for Zeke here. Champion point for Zeke here. Oh, and there we go. With the drive rush, as we've seen all night, Zeke pull, going for that forward mm. push. Lewis the Panda got to find some sort of angle. Gets grabbed again. Punish counter this time. Ooh, managing headbutt. to get out of there. Oh, no stun. Oh. That's always hair raising to see drive impact just outside of the corner. Oh, and Lewis the Panda finding something. Oh, and there goes the... Hope you didn't press a button there, my and, friend. And he completely did not. Will he Do be able? To him. Will he be able to kill with this one? Yep. Woo -hoo! And Lewis the Panda not going down without swinging. Oh, managed to read the drive rush. Oh, missed the command. Just grab. outside of the range. Yeah, command grab ranges have been varying differently, like varying wildly. Excuse me. Uh, throughout multiple characters, Hana doesn't really seem to get that much of a what do you call it privilege, as they say. Oh, well done. We haven't seen that many uh, reversal supers here, have we? No, we haven't. A lot of wake-up supers? Not at all. Ooh, and here comes big damage from Lewis the Panda, but Zeke. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Bringing it back. Lewis the Panda is not done yet. Oh, 
Yeah, baby. Just got to adapt. All right, here we are, 2-1, both players in the middle. Oh, man, did you get <laughs> the lingering hitbox? Oh, great combo there from Zeke getting out of there. Managed to go under the grab. Great job there, but now they're going to have to figure out who, or they're going to have to push each other into the corner. Oh, and Lewis in a bad spot, getting pushed back. Another one. Jump? No. Oh, okay. man, I thought we were DJ Khaled up in this one. Oh, <laughs> Big damage on this one. Oh, missed the command grab. Oh, and the and the mix up. Overhead, great job there. Oh, wow. Okay. Great job by Zeke being able to see it. Hit him with the DP on the jump. Oh, snap. And here uh -oh. it comes. Drive, drive rush in into drive impact. What? This is inc whoa, here he goes. Wow. This, wow. Look at this. Oh man. The shimmy. Oh, Feng Shui Here Engine. Comes. Here she goes. This is where she's absolutely nutty. Yikes. Was that a was that intentional? Oh my god. Ooh. Grabs into the corner. Oh. oh my gosh, he's back there. Oh no. <gasps> you don't want to leave yourself open. Oh, here he don't comes. Don't get ahead of yourself here. He's pushing on in. Zeke. Careful. Oh no! Oh, and that's gonna do it, and ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there it is, your champion for this week's Juicy Game Night Weekly. Zeke. Zeke. Zeke, that gameplay was oh disgusting. Oh my gosh. Disgusting on that gameplay. <laughs> Every 